Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a Sephora haul. This is all the things that I got for the VIB sale. Let me know if you guys have any of this stuff and if you like it. I just finished filming a review on this foundation here from Makeup Forever, the Matte Velvet Skin. Um, so I'm filming that. I'm doing like a first impressions throughout the whole day. So I will upload that after this and let you guys know what I think about it. But that is what I'm wearing on my skin today. And I think I really like it so far. So yeah, this was definitely a splurge item for me here. Honestly, a lot of this stuff was because you guys know Sephora is incredibly expensive. I normally shop on Ulta. I'm not going to lie. I'm like an Ulta girl. But, you know, because of the sale... I decided to get a few things that I have been curious about for a while. I also got my birthday gift. Yes, I'm excited and let me know what you guys got. Leave a thumbs up if you want more haul videos like this and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so very first thing I guess I'll talk about are these Summer Friday hair masks. Okay, so the first things that I really wanted to talk about were these masks from Summer Fridays. I can't tell you how many times I have heard people raving about these saying they are amazing, um, in particular the jet lag mask. So I had to pick that up as well as the overtime mask. They're both completely different. This one is for like overworked, overstressed skin. And what I wanted to use this for was, you know, sometimes I film or I'm doing multiple things in a day, taking off my makeup multiple times um, and my skin gets really stressed out so I was thinking that this would be good for those days where I'm just like working long hours and I need to just help it to recover and it also gently exfoliates as well as you're wearing it which is pretty cool so that your skin looks instantly renewed radiant and ready for anything and then the overtime mask says it's good for congested skin to really clarify. It uses vitamins packed with pumpkin and exfoliating apricot seed powder to gently polish away dead skin cells for a luminous effect. I'm definitely a mask girl. Like I did a mask before I filmed this foundation review. Anytime before I film, I always do a mask because I just feel like my skin looks so much better with makeup on. This is the brand new Nymph, not your mama's pantyhose all over body highlighter from Huda Beauty and this was one my first time actually buying anything from her brand because I did get the Mauve Obsessions actually I don't know if this is real size or if this is mini maybe this is real size but I tried it out and I did I liked it a lot so I was curious to try more from her brand and the video she posted about this product right here literally blew me away the way it looked on the skin was just, I mean, I don't know if it was because there was like a filter on the video or something, but I want my skin to look that way. So I decided to purchase it. There's three of them. There was one that was really light and then one that was a little darker. And this one was like the more pinky toned one right in the middle. So it looks beautiful. It's huge, which is amazing because it was very expensive. So I'm hoping that this lasts me a long time. So I'm going to test this out on my skin right now. I don't think the brush, yeah, pretty sure you have to buy the brush separately. I was thinking that the brush came with this, but I guess not. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, it smells good. It smells like the beach. I think I'm going to do a whole separate review on this, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But, I mean, it looks pretty for sure, like, in comparison to this arm. It's all over body highlighter, intense shine, blurring effect, water resistant, transfer resistant. Oh, you're supposed to shake it before you use it. I did not know that. I just can feel that this is going to be something that I'm going to be bringing with me on all my vacations. Next is this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. So what really intrigued me with this is because I never wear powder foundations but I really wanted to try this one out. It comes with a little sponge that's really unique because it has two sides to it. This side is like a microfiber kind of texture and then this is like the regular type sponge that you would get. Powder itself is actually a lot more creamy than I was even thinking. I, I mean, I was hoping it would be really creamy and hydrating and it definitely is. So that's cool. I was excited to use it, which is why I filmed that video before this and And then I picked up this too. 
in R330 because the one that I have already is too yellow for me. It's like Y245 or something like that. So I decided to get this one to match with this same shade and everything because um, I really do like this formula. I had had the Milk Kush Mascara and I think it came with the primer too in my bag. Um, but I wanted to wait around a day for this to come out. So I think this came out May 5th. Yeah. And I lost the milk makeup birthday gift. And I was really upset because I really did want to try that Kush mascara. It was like a little, you know, sample size of it. I don't want to splurge and just buy the actual mascara because I'm really picky with mascaras. So I was hoping that I could get the little sample size. And I was so excited about it when I first put it in my bag. And then I lost it. It was sold out. Um, so instead, I got this one from Drunk Elephant as my birthday gift. I already have the polypeptide cream, and I do like it. So I'm happy that I have, like, another little one of it. And then this I actually have never tried before. The number 9 Jelly Cleanser. It says, reset skin to a healthy state with a pH-balanced, unscented cleanser. Oh, that's nice. That's usually what I like. And a firming dose of the original Get It Get Shit Done Protein Moisturizer. All you need to take a clean break and reclaim the glow in time for your party. I'm not mad at it, I, but I really did want the Kush one. <laughs> cool. So there's my birthday gift. Is that supposed to happen? What the heck? I'm so confused right now. Oh, so you twist it. And then you push it and it comes out. Oh. It's just like a clear gel. Alright, well I'll try it out. From Milk Makeup, I did end up picking up this. The Luminous Blur Primer. That's what it's called, right? Luminous Blur Stick Primer. It is oil-free, which I really love. It reminds me of like a stick version, just by looking at it, of this CoverGirl one that I love so much which is also oil-free, so I was hoping maybe, you know, just to have, like, another alternative to play around with. But I had opened my BoxyCharm and realized that I literally got it in my BoxyCharm too. So now I have two full-sized versions of this, which I definitely do not need, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, it is definitely luminous. So what was interesting to me about this is that it gives you a matte blurred effect, but it has a luminous finish to it so I'm I was kind of confused by that I'm like how is this going to give me matte skin absorb the oil and give me a luminous look at the same time so this was really intriguing to me and I really wanted to try it out wow that is beautiful okay then this clean bee ultra gentle facial cleanser right here is seriously so amazing I have a like sample size version of it that I got in one of my subscription boxes and I just can't stop using it I'm almost out so I decided to get myself a new one a full-sized one but I also got a bunch of other things too to try out because I love how they have all clean ingredients you know my skin is so incredibly sensitive so it cleanses my skin without stripping it of all of its natural oils and it's very gentle so I like, I like, like, like. Ooh, that is nice. It says, ultra gentle facial cleansing gel that washes away surface oil impurities, pollution residue, and makeup while nourishing your skin with our honey blend and hyaluronic acid. The Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Right now I'm using the one from It Cosmetics. I cannot remember what it's called, but it also melts away the makeup and I really like it, so what I'm thinking is I'm just going to compare these two, just like for myself in my mind. I just want to see if this one, you know, compares and if it gets rid of makeup just as well. I'm thinking it's going to be out of this world amazing since so many people love this. How do I open it? Oh, that's kind of cool. A nourishing facial cleansing balm that erases makeup and gently lifts away impurities caused by pollution and it leaves skin hydrated and silky smooth. Oh, it comes with a little spatula. Whoa, that smells good. It smells kind of like refreshing, like a refreshing scent. Worth the splurge? I think so. 
I also got the Pharmacy Honey Potion. It is a renewing antioxidant hydration mask with Echinacea Green Envy Honey. Ooh, this looks good. So this one is a warming facial massage mask that nourishes and revitalizes the skin for a glowing, smooth complexion. An intensely moisturizing combination of honey, propolis, found in beehives, and amino-rich royal jelly. It enhances the skin for a younger appearance. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Wow. Let's smell it. I want to eat it. <laughs> I, I don't smell anything at all. Let's, let's feel it. Oh my, yeah, this feels like honey for sure. Nice. It's very smooth. Okay, now I kind of slightly smell the honey. <gasps> this is going to be so good. Wow. Look how soft they made my hand look. Damn. Okay. This is cool. I'm excited to try this one out too. See, I wonder if I'm going to like this more than the Summer Friday masks. From the Jessica Rabbit collection, I got the Siet Glow 2 Illuminating Powder Highlighter because it's this beautiful, like, kind of pinkish champagne color. And that's my favorite kind of highlight color. So let's swatch it right here on my thumb. Oh my gosh, that is really, really pigmented. Almost like a creamy kind of powder. And lastly, from Rio Geo, I got three products from their Color Me Brilliant Mushroom and Bamboo Color Protect line. The conditioner, the shampoo, and then also this too. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme, but it happened. I'm such a huge fan of the brand. They have, I think, like four or five products that I've completely emptied and repurchased so that's how I know I really really like their stuff and this line had just come out right when the sale was going on no reviews but I decided to just whatever give it a try anyway because it looked like something I would really like so it's the mushroom and bamboo color protect shampoo and conditioner it's supposed to naturally protect your blonde hair and keep it from looking uh, brassy or you know orangey without any like harsh chemicals. It's made of all natural ingredients, no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens, which is usually what I do go for with my hair products because they do have tape and extensions. And if you have products that have sulfates in them, it kind of breaks down the tape. And you definitely don't want that. But also sulfates are really harsh for the hair, so I typically stay away from them. It's something that you're supposed to uh, put in after you've washed your hair from root to tip prior to air drying or heat styling. So it's not something you rinse out. And this is also a little bit purple too. So it's kind of like a little leave-in conditioner that hydrates and keeps your hair looking nourished and silky smooth and also has an anti-fade protection that helps to maintain color. I'm excited to try these out. I'll let you guys know what I think, you know, since they're brand new. Hopefully I like them. Like right now my shower routine is pretty much set in stone. Like I wasn't planning on changing it up because I'm just so in love with the stuff that I've been using and it's been working really well for me. But then I saw this on Sephora, I'm like, why you gotta do that to me? So that is everything that I got from my haul. If you ended up liking this video or you want me to do more hauls, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to write down in the comments what you guys got to um, if you ordered anything from Sephora. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.